and in the reverse facing, you want to make sure that the front wheels are locked, the swivel locks are engaged, and you want to apply the brakes. The seat needs to be aiming downwards in this position, like this, put back the canopy. Then what you're going to want to do is up here on the handle, you have your main button that adjusts the height of the handle. Underneath is an unlocking button. So you're going to depress both buttons and then you're going to push it all the way in. You have to use a little bit of force. Then you're going to allow the handle to drop down. You can grab the back of the uh, seat frame and fold it in and it'll fold right into its one piece standing fold. And with the seat in the reverse facing or with the bassinet, you do need to remove the seat or the bassinet in order to fold down the stroller. So removing the seat is these two buttons here, press it on either side, you can pull the seat off, and then we're just going to fold this down in the same manner that we did before. So brakes are on, the handle is at full extension, we're just going to pull up on those triggers, and then you can fold down the chassis as such. With the seat facing forwards, you want the seat in its most upright position back the canopy, swivel locks are still locked, brakes are applied, and we're going to do this the same way. So press both buttons, give it a little bit of a slam, it'll unlock, and then you can lower down that seat frame, lift up on that seat frame, and rock the front end in, and it'll go straight into its one-piece standing fold. Okay, so when the seat is forward-facing, you can get the one-piece fold. You're going to want to put the brakes on, that red lever there, but you probably know that part. Then you're going to want to fold back your canopy and you're going to want to have your seat like this, which means in line with the arm. Yeah. The handle needs to be at full extension and then you're going to just pull up on both of these triggers here and the whole stroller will fold down. There's a little safety catch here that's going to catch in place and then you can just fold down the leg rest as well and then it's good to go. So this is like the easy fold in case you're just uh, putting it down in a car or folding it um, and you're gonna use it again soon or something. In order to remove elements, in order to get this as small as possible, I'm gonna put back the canopy. You can of course take your bumper bar off, which is those buttons on the inside of the bumper bar. And remove the seat frame by pressing in those two memory buttons. And then we can remove the wheels from the chassis in order to get it a little bit smaller. So there's a button here on the inside facing of the rear frame. Remove both rear wheels. Then for the front wheels, the button to remove them is right here on the front of the front frame. So to press it and they'll slide right out. Then we can fold down the chassis the same way. So to press both buttons, press it in until it unlocks, let the handle fall down, and the chassis will fold down naturally a lot smaller. When it comes to the seat frame, you fold this portion in, and then here under the seat frame are these mechanical elements that lock the seat into its like upright or open position. And if you press in on the baseboard, you'll unlock this point here, and that allows you to fold the whole seat frame flat. Now, in case you are packing the trunk to go on holiday and space is a bit of an issue, you can get all your elements together and they'll take up a lot less space than if you were to just use that uh, one piece fold. Okay, the key to making the chassis as small as possible then, if you're trying to uh, pack for a trip or something and you need space, is to remove all of the wheels. So in order to remove the rear wheels, you have this button here in the center. Just pull them both off. Turning it around, you have this dial here, and this is going to allow you to release the front wheels. So you're going to pull that dial out, there's like a little peg on the back side, and that allows you to pull out these front wheels. And then since we're going for as small as possible, in this case you're going to push your handle all the way in, and it'll lose that standing hold, it's not necessary in this case. And there you have it. All right, then when it comes to the seat, the only way to make this as small, smaller than it is right now is to fold back the canopy and to remove the bumper bar. And then you at least get it relatively flat. Folding down the stroller with the bassinet, in order to get that one piece fold, you again have to have the swivel locks locked and the brakes applied. 
you want to push back your canopy and you want to grab that positional adjustment trigger and pull the bassinet down into this angled position so that it lines up with the handle. Then, just as before, we're going to depress both of those buttons on the handle, press it all the way in and allow that handle to go down to the ground. I'm going to grab the back of the bassinet and flip up and it will fit, flip straight into its one-piece standing fold. To fold the bassinet down as flat as possible, we're going to put back that canopy, remove the bumper bar with those two buttons on the inside, and then there are the struts in the front and back. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is to slide them so that they unlock along that track and pop off. So there's one, here's the other one. Then we can take that foot assembly, fold it forwards, and now the whole thing is loose. And you can just remove the struts if you like. And then is the bassinet. So we're gonna fold down the canopy, that's those two memory buttons. And then if you look here, underneath the mattress are these two struts. And if you pull them towards the center, and unlock them, then it's possible to fold the bassinet down a little bit flat so that it's not uh, being held taut. And that's as small as you can get that element as well.